Carmina M&A deals drop 7% to $80 billion and Tesla stock suffers on news of its profit fall. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. The value of M&A deals with any MENA involvement reached $80 billion in 2023, down 7% from 2022, according to LSEG. But the number of deals was the third highest since records began in 1980. Deals involving a MENA target totaled $31.7 billion, down 35% from 2022. In its year-end earnings report, Tesla disclosed it saw its first annual profit decline last year since 2017, dropping 23% to $1.9 billion. The news sent the stock plummeting. Tesla's $16.6 billion in adjusted EBITDA was 13% lower than 2022's $19.2 billion. Meanwhile, Musk says Chinese automakers will demolish global rivals without trade barriers. It underscores the heat Tesla faces from Chinese rival BYD, which is racing to expand internationally. Musk's comments come after Warren Buffett backed BYD with its cheaper models, overtook Tesla as the world's top-selling EV company last quarter. South Korea's Hyundai Motors saw a 31% rise in Q4 profit that missed analyst expectations due to unfavorable exchange rates and one-off costs from the sale of its Russia plant. The world's number three automaker by sales with its affiliate Kia saw Q4 net profit of $1.65 billion. Chinese stocks rallied this morning as traders awaited fresh pledges of stimulus from officials a day after they announced a measure to boost bank lending. Hong Kong and Shanghai rose for a third straight day on hopes Beijing will put in place more help for the stuttering economy. President Macron arrives in India today as France eyes lucrative deals. India's key military supplier, Western Democracies, are courting New Delhi as a military and economic counterweight to China. France hopes to build on its military contracts after India purchased French-made fighter jets and submarines in multi-billion dollar deals. U.S. regulators have approved a detailed inspection framework that would allow the return to service of Boeing 737 MAX planes. United Airlines says its grounded aircraft should return to service from Sunday. It's a major step after the regulator grounded 171 of the aircraft. And Microsoft's value crossed the $3 trillion milestone for the first time overnight, retaining its place as the world's second most valuable company after Apple. Backed by its investment in OpenAI, Microsoft is a front runner in the rollout of generative AI, among other tech heavyweights including Alphabet, Amazon and Meta. I'm Ramya Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.